Kia ora, good evening, and welcome to Blade of News, your number one rollerway news show. Razors finally did it. They released the Pro Skate for Andrew Broom. And this thing is beautiful. It is a gray, white, and purple colorway. It's a Shift 2. It features everything the Shift 2 has. I don't think there's anything new about it, although they do list it all like they always do. Not a fan of the Shift Skate. Not, I'm going to keep saying that. Don't like that skate. I should only get that skate. If you actually plan to use the shift feature, and here's a release that doesn't use it but anyway. And of course, to celebrate this release, Andrew Broom released a really good promo edit. And something about this promo edit hits a lot harder for me than uh, than, than it usually does. Uh, not just because there's some really, really cool clips in this. Look at that switch up. That was so smooth. But uh, also because of the channel Jumbo. If you don't know about this channel, you've probably heard everyone talk about it so far this is like a street vlog channel of andrew broom's crew and what this has done is it's made me feel like i am part of this crew it's like done so well very very interesting video something that i think has been missing from the blading scene like a serious street skating coverage and vlog the, just the raw vibes of a street session and so what this has done is it's made andrew broom's pro scape uh, promo edit feel like i'm watching the homies edit and you know the homies edit always hits harder because you know that dude you know the work you put into it you know the behind the scenes and uh yeah congrats to andrew broom the skate once again is fucking dope it's in skate shops right now i know uh it was leaked by a skate shop ages ago so uh, they've been holding on to it for a while and uh yeah shout out to razors for finally uh releasing uh skate for their pro team it's been a while and speaking of this is related i swear but i do want to ask you right now do you think that the barbie movie is going to help rollerblading this is set to come out earlier this year uh that features rollerblading in it and we've actually already got some official barbie skates coming out these are the skates featured in the video and impala has already made an officially licensed version of it which i think is going to sell insanely well to all the girls who love barbie out there you know uh, and uh, smartly, PowerSide has also jumped on this trend and they've made an exact same looking skate. Now, this has got to be probably the only time in the history of the world that a bootleg of a product is better quality <laughs> or a better product than the original release. Now, I would have loved to have seen an official licensed Barbie skate here. I'm sure that it's possible to do if Impala can do it. I know they got the connects. And they probably got more of the money to do it. But I know Parasite could have done that. And even though it's not the... This is the exact skate in the movie. An official Barbie skate, I think, would just... It would get out there a lot better than a knockoff, trying to be one kind of skate. Uh, it does raise an interesting question, though. Of uh, well, I had to bring this up to account, too. Shout out to I roll a bit for pointing this out. But this was a leaked picture. But um, I think, anyway, this was has not been posted by Parasite. But there's, like, fingerprints all over this picture here. If you can see that. Someone touched it with like greasy hands and took the product pictures. It's horrible. But uh, the question I do have for Razors, to link it back to Razors, is uh, are they going to announce a official Barbie movie Razor Cult? Another company that, you know, they love putting out skates that aren't for their pro team, just full on sell out skates. This would be a great opportunity for them. And I would actually love to see it. An official Barbie. I don't know who the fuck this character is in the movie. Obviously, the villain, I don't know the name or whatever. But. They should make that an official Barbie skate. They should do it. License it. Barbie is obviously op open to licensing stuff, so they should do it. Um, and if you want my opinion on whether the Barbie movie is going to help plating, I think it definitely is going to help. I uh, I think right now, I mean, co we just need people talking about blading. Any eyes on blading would be good. Something that did have me a little concerned, though, was the fact that this was passed on rollerblading, rollerblading, but Margot Robbie uh, had this to say about this picture of her on the on the venice beach and the skates you know this one that went everywhere the one that got everyone talking got rollerblading excited she said this i can't tell you how mortified we were by the way we look like we're like laughing having fun but dying on the inside you're like oh my god dying. i was so like cool. this is the most humiliating moment of my life yeah <laughs> now margo saying this was surprising me because she is a rollerblader like in this uh coverage earlier by vogue here she is mentioning the fact that uh in the interview they wanted to go rollerblading right and uh, Robbie had her own skates that don't have brakes. And I don't know about you, but anyone who has skates that don't have brakes, that's a real rollerblade, you know? That ain't someone who's casually doing it, especially if she wanted to go. So uh, what I'm going to interpret this is not her being humiliated by being seen on bright rollerblades. Or on rollerblades, I think it was just the whole fit, right? Which is fair, you know? But anyway, this movie comes out later this month. We'll see what it does for blading. Hopefully it does good things. I can see it bring a lot of girls into blading, which I think we have a lot of room to grow the women in a rollerblading right now they're especially aggressive uh we're starting to get more inclusive to girls but there's it's still at underdogs and uh we should really lean into that as rollerbladers it's fucking sick when girls get into blading uh, and you see it with quad skating quad skating is 
dominated by women and uh they are all so cool to watch uh speaking of women and blading though there's been some stories about the bladies first off julia here got put on the misma team congrats to her she is a uh, a great skater and it's cool to see Mesma including some more women on their team. Every brand should be doing this right now. A brand that is really good for it. Also just uh, put a new girl on a team that was Anique. Sorry if I say your name wrong Anique but Anique got welcomed to the faction team here which is cool to see. Another really cool skater uh, and just to highlight faction has got one of my favorite teams in blading right now. It's a bunch of really cool people and really good skaters and a lot of women on their team too which I love to see. One of my favorite people on their team right now though is uh, is it Victoria? Hopefully, that's how you, is it Victoria? I'm sorry, for, but uh, she, her skating is so cool to watch. You should definitely check it out if you haven't seen it. I have it linked in the description, but uh, just look at this. Like I watched this clip like a thousand times here. It is so cool, man. I love the, it's like new age blading, but that little bonk there, man. I love this little bonk. Wait for it. Just a little bonk. I don't know. Looks fine. She's killing it, dude. Uh, and uh, yeah, shout out to all the bladies out there. Uh, we do have a sad story about bladies. So I now posted this. She's a pro skater who competes in feasts. Uh, there's a video here. It's in French, I would assume. I don't actually know. Oh, it has no sound. That ain't true. It's got sound. But uh, luckily, she wrote this up in English here. Essentially talking about the poor treatment of women at feasts. Uh, specifically, she mentions the fact that the warm-ups for the women's events at Feast here was shortened to 10 minutes for eight skaters. Eight female skaters had to share the park and warm up in 10 minutes before the heats, which she says is dangerous and uh, obviously risk the girls getting hurt and uh, is completely unfair. They didn't do that to the men. And on top of that, they put the women's event early in the morning when no one's going to show up and ultimately seems like they're hiding the women's category and not showing it off, which... Uh, Massive props to her for calling this out. I read that and I 100% agree that is bullshit. Women should have the same prize money and they should be featured at the same time as men. You shouldn't be hiding them away. And I think that's not good enough. Feast seems to be a great company for running these competitions. I mean, they still have role being in them, which is cool. I really hope they listen to this feedback here and make changes because this is not good enough moving on though but still speaking of faction they got a new skate here which is the tactical v1 and white and it is beautiful man clark showed me a picture of this at blading cup and holy i was excited when this came out i'm glad it came at least the pictures came nice and quick you can order this in mid-june so it's actually really soon that's cool to see i just i only just read that and it features that new soul plate that i mentioned last episode uh which is a little more slim got at least bulk in the back a little more standard uh and the whole thing looks great. I can't wait to see it. Faction is a great company that you should definitely keep your eye on. Uh, and speaking of another thing you should keep your eye on, uh, you might have noticed I'm wearing a new hockey jersey right now and it says lace on it. And that's because it happens to be my new merch. I got a brand new hockey jersey collab with Shrewd City Skates, the only New Zealand skate shop we have right now. Shout out to them. We love them. It's purple. Every single one features its own unique number and they're a limited edition. If you want to cop it, they are proven to help you skate better. At least I feel like I skate better when I wear it. And uh, I'd love to see you. It would match those new Andrew Broom skates pretty well, by the way. But yeah, I did post a video celebrating this. It was by Brothers and Blade here, uh, featuring the boys on our trip, a street skating trip to America. It's 30 minutes. It's long. It's dope. And I'm super happy with how much work the boys put in. I will be making and posting a uh, solo Just Me edit in the next coming days to celebrate 25,000 subscribers if we hit it. So please subscribe. Uh, and I'm excited to see that. There's some clips that didn't make the cut in here that I'll post. And it'll, it'll probably hit the spot for you people who don't have the patience for a 30-minute video. But there's some really good shit in here. I definitely uh, recommend checking it out. Link in the description. Every so often, I find something where I can't believe the amount of effort and work that was put into it for blading. And I got a show light on it. Here is a tutorial that was just posted to r slash rollerblading of a fully CG character, which is very well animated, very well lighted. And all the grants, all the sound... Everything about this I can, it must have taken so long, but uh, it's a tutorial for how to grind. And uh, I got to show you, I just couldn't believe this was real. Like usually if some, this was just done for fun, by the way, shout out to the creator, uh, no competition. That's a very perfect name for uh, what you're doing here. There's some very good tips here. I actually think it's quite a good tutorial, but ultimately I just can't believe the amount of effort that was put into making a CG character. It's just done really well. I definitely recommend checking it out. Shout out to Mr. Cheeto here. That's not his name, but <laughs> anyway, uh, another really cool thing I want to show you about um, is the my boy Rob Callett posted two insanely good group edits in the last month. Two. Here's one called uh, Mantra 2. Uh, it's just 
a crew edit the thing that highlight about me uh, and that's not the skating is uh this dude in here that is the most australian looking dude looking kid i've seen in my life where is he is he at the end look at this fucking dude man like, look at him look at this filthy mullet this is like typical new zealand shit too i'm not gonna lie but uh yeah so this is a great great edit but it's not the only one literally like two weeks later i posted up a briz brizalona which is the boys kind of barcelona making this edit here another really really good piece once again, the whole crew thrown down for it. Uh, I, can, I can see the effort put into it. And uh, it got me juiced to skate. I love Rob Kellett's work. Everything he does from his skating to his editing is exceptionally good. Definitely check these two out. They're both worth your time. I don't want to spoil too much of it. You got to go watch it yourself. Uh, but moving on to more products. Sorry, I just wanted to quickly interrupt and say happy Pride Month to all my LGBTQ plus rollerbladers out there. We love you. And everyone who's fucking hating on you can get fucked. They're not walking and blading. You know the drill. But yeah, I know it's tough times right now. Things are absolutely fucking ridiculous in the world. But just know there's nothing wrong with you. It's okay to be who you are. And uh, yeah, I got your back, okay? Anyway, back to the show. Kaiser dropped some new anti-rockers, what I would call the flat spot anti-rockers. Oregon promoted them super well. And this, look at these close-up shots. There's a whole edit here of this where you can just see how much you grind on the wheels here. And I would actually love to see a flat setup version of this video to see how much your wheels touch while grinding rail and ledge. But uh, yeah, good edit. But anyway, we're talking about the wheels here. Yeah, see what I'm talking about? This is a flat spot of anti-rocket. Uh, I never understood the... Uh, this is, I guess it's not flat spot of there. It's just the bottom is flat spot, but it's rounded. It's got... Oh, no, it's got... Okay, it's hexagon shape. God, look, I'm learning with you. Isn't that funny? But there is a couple in there. They come in uh, a few different sizes here, different millimeters for uh, what setup you have. Um, I don't really know how you would... I would never... This is too nuanced for me. I'd be... When I skated an anti-rocket, it really didn't make a difference what uh, setup I had. So I don't know... The fact that the, you can get down to the millimeter here would just overwhelm me with options. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Well, I was always disappointed when my anti-rockers got flat spotted. I know they kind of gripped a bit less. But uh, I mean, if you skip the break-in period, I guess. But if I got a flat spot my anti-rocker, I would generally want to get new ones, you know? But maybe that's a flat skater in me. But yeah, it's cool to see Kaiser bring out new products. Speaking of USD, they just restocked a bunch of the old parts. Like old skate parts which is a mega fan service, which I like to see. Like old shadow parts, old USD throne parts, massive restock of them all, which is, I, which I honestly is just for the, the collectors out there, the people skating older skates, which is really cool of them. But it must be, this must hurt the market, right? Like I think now it's kind of like you're forcing people to buy new skates by not offering parts for old skates. If you offer parts for old skates, no one needs to buy new skates anymore, right? But uh, I know, I like that. It was cool. It keeps the uh, history of rollerblading alive. Uh, props to USD for doing that. Uh, the next really cool product I want to tell you about is Flebo Buffer. I should have, I've watched I Roll Boots video about these, but I was confused as to what these are. But they are essentially a, uh, this is the only picture that really shows it. It's the thumbnail of I Roll Boots video, but it's a piece of like soft plastic, like rubber that you put on this part of the skate for a kind of shock absorption and uh dampening to make your skates less clacky now uh i think this is a really cool idea and it's a uh, an alternative to uh having a shock absorber in your skate different to like the crs or like a suspension frame it's more compatible with every frame i i think it could be quite great i really did make a video here trying them all out i'll link you to this one as well where he tested the uh the, the, he compared the clackiness he ultimately said he doesn't think it adds too much shock absorbing which was the thing that caught my eye and my attention the most because you know I like, a, I like the M12, but I don't like the lack of shock in it. If there's any way to add shock to that that isn't a CRS frame, um, I w I'm curious to see. But anyway, I love to see innovation like this. Uh, definitely check them out if you want to support. Uh, it is made for the 5050 core frames, and he does have a frame wall for it as well, which looks interesting as well. Cool to skate. Uh, I roll boot tested that out as well. Shout out to I roll boot. We love the man. He's a, he's a good dude. Um, but yeah cool stuff moving on an edit that i think you should definitely check out is uh another edit by happy tooth here called uh survival tickets god i can't read dude i'm sorry but this it is so sick dude it absolutely blew my mind i was so hot to watch it dude i can't believe how much changing the lines in the demo skate though makes them look like razors like I, I really thought this was an orange razor he was skating here 
But uh, this is an insanely good edit that uh, you must watch. It's I don't know how to plug edits because I feel like the only way I can plug them and get you to watch them is to spoil them. But you should go watch this yourself. There's some really, really good skating in it. Um, and I see the work that Happy Tooth put in there. The couple ender tricks in here are insane. Some of my favorite switch-ups of all time. Uh, and yeah, it's a good one you should check out. Um, speaking of really good videos, you check out. Tom released a new video, which is a new series he's been working on for a long time, which essentially goes into the behind the scenes of famous tricks. The first one he's doing is the uh, the pretty recent trick that Sam Croft did on this uh, the famous ledge. I don't even know the name of this ledge, but it's in London. Uh, the gap to Zoe did, which uh, you know was such a brief moment in the edit of the Sam Croft edit. Learning the behind the scenes, the insights of what into what went into this trick really adds to it. And to see the journey, I found this so interesting to watch. It was so well produced, so well put together. Something, once again, I think was missing from Blading. And it has me so excited to see what Tom does with the rest of the series. If you haven't watched it yet, definitely go watch it. It's gonna, it's just, it's really good. It makes me really excited for the future of it. Back to products though. Uh, you might have heard of this new wheel brand called Somatics. Uh, I've, I've, seen, I've seen everyone talk about this right now. Another wheel company, guys. We got another wheel company. Uh, but this one does look really cool. It's run by Josh Glowicki and Fritz. Now, these straight away remind me of Conja wheels, uh, which I have permanently sitting on my desk and it's going to get keyed out. Every time I do this, it gets keyed out. Hold on. Let me just, let me just break the illusion real quick. We're going to leave the office. <laughs> These Conjure wheels here, which are, in my opinion, the best wheels ever made, dude. I love those wheels. Anyone who knows me knows that. So anytime I see someone kind of making something similar, I'm hyped, okay? These look, the profile is the rocket profile, I swear, which I've been missing. And I love the smoky look to all the wheels. There's a bunch of wheels they released here, though, from anti-rockers to big wheels. Uh, and they seem like a really, really cool company, kind of like goofy, not too serious. And uh, I'm interested to see the future of them. But yeah, if you're looking for some new wheels, want to try something new. What I like about them is they are unique. It isn't just a boring ass normal wheel, as you can see here. Where are the, can I see just the wheels? All of them have this like smoky look to them, which I like. So it's a 58, a 45 and an 80. So that's a good range. There's some merch there too. Check them out. They're cool. Um, another really cool thing that happened, Robbie Pitts got a pro wish frame and uh there was even a release party that he did at the courthouse which uh and i've been there now and that's a cool spot and uh, i wish i could have gone but yeah very happy to see this robbie pitts one of the coolest dudes in blading one of the highlights of people to meet on my trip we'll say and i'm just happy to see uh wish keep killing i've never skated the wish frames i wish i had they i've always wanted to man i always wanted to maybe i will one day uh, although i'm pretty hard on the dairy dairy frames right now they're pretty sick the final thing i want to talk to you guys about is a, another brand new skate how many new skate companies can there possibly be they keep coming, man. And here's a new one here by Aero Rollerworks called the KY1. Look, at it. it's a fully carbon skate uh, with a carbon cuff, which is, I've only seen Icon do that. And uh, it's got a, quite an interesting frame here with sliders and a changeable H block. An H block that goes extremely low too. Like there's a lot of wheel bite protection there. I'm mostly just surprised at how many new skate companies are coming out from COVID. The market is absolutely <laughs> flooded right now. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see who's still around in the next five years. But I mean, obviously it's good science for blading. And these, they look unique, they look interesting. I like the straps here. Uh, speaking of straps, I can't not plug this strap. This is supposed to be the last thing, but I'm gonna add this on right at the end here. Uh, my boy Jad Roller Vlog just released another professional quality strap here. It's now available at Oak City Skate Shop. So if you wanna swap buckles to straps, look how nice this thing is, dude, high quality. I'm definitely more of a fan of buckles myself, but this looks good. Shout out to Jab Roller Vlog. But anyway, thank you so much to my Blade News correspondents. I wouldn't be able to do this without them. They rule as well as the rest of my patrons and members. They're the best. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, shit. Wrong button. Hold up. Um, uh, yeah. Thank you so much to my patrons. They do have access to uh, exclusive videos. I've been putting out one a month. One actually came out today. And one that came out today, a, uh, it shows how I actually hit my head. That wasn't to do with uh, Biz punching me. <laughs> okay. And uh, just dives into a dedication to... Uh, part of my trip, which is a cool little edit that's not really edit. But anyway, there's other really good videos on there. I've been putting the time and really prioritizing Patreon. But you can actually look at them for free right now. There's a seven day free trial on my Patreon if you want to check it out. If you think it's worth a couple dollars a month, you can sign up, but there's no strings attached. You can say no. You could literally go sign up right now, watch everything, and not sign up. And I'll be cool with that as long as you uh, watch what I put up there, okay? Um, but yeah, thank you so much. 
check out shoplace.com. Hope you get to go for a skate today, and I will see you guys later on. Peace out.